Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in the mountains on one of my large permissions and we're gonna spend the day hunting. Now, as you can see, I've got a new bike here. This is the KBO Tornado. They were kind enough to send this to us along with a really nice rack for the back, um, which I'm gonna use for Marley. This particular property has a lot of ground squirrels. They've got a lot of cottontails and even some jackrabbits. And so I'm hoping that we can use this bike to cover some ground, explore a couple new spots, and really just get out and have some fun. We are gonna be using the Humorex Origin 25 caliber on this trip. I'm using the Brimstone 33.95 grain pellets. They seem to be really accurate out of this. This is shooting at just about 42 foot pounds. So I'm anxious to see how this thing handles and what it can do. And it certainly fits well on the e-bike. When I was younger, I did a lot of mountain biking. And as a result, I suffered quite a few injuries, mostly to my knees and my back. I did sell off all my bikes and up until about a year ago I never thought that I'd be getting back on any kind of a mountain bike. E-bikes are a lot of fun because they do have an assist. You can help them along if you want to pedal it like a regular mountain bike or you can ride it much like you would a moped with just using the throttle. And so I like that. I'm able to quietly travel a lot of these, these trails that we have out here and I've just had a lot of fun and it's definitely nice being able to bring Marley along with me. Marley and I just pulled up into the shade here and I've got a nice view of a debris pile that's out in front of us at 40 yards. And I have seen ground squirrels. It's really kind of a waiting game. You know, we'll sit here, hang out, relax. We got a nice breeze and uh, hopefully we can have some luck on these ground squirrels. We'll give it a few minutes and um, we'll move down to a different spot. You having the fun? One of the perks to bringing a bike is I don't need to bring a bipod with me. I can just use the bike. I can lower this seat um, or really move it, you know, to any height that's comfortable. But in this situation, you know, I can lower it all the way down, tighten it, and you know, I've got a perfect little rest here. One of the main reasons we get out in the field with these products is to test them under real conditions. Whether it be an air gun or even an e-bike, it's important to do that because we can really discover what we like, what we don't like, and be able to provide good feedback to the manufacturer as well as the consumer. I like the Humorex Origin because it's lightweight, it's simple, it's just one of those guns you can pick up, you can put some air in it, you load your magazine, and it's good to go. Got that guy. Good girl. You got it. Marley and I were cruising along this road here and I looked up to the left and saw a bunch of these holes on the hillside at about 60 yards. And so Marley and I parked it, unloaded, and I only had to wait a few minutes until I saw this guy and I was able to make a good headshot. Um, but having the bike makes it a lot easier, you know, cruising these roads because a lot of times we spend, you know, a good portion of the day just hiking. And so if we can have an easier way to get around this property um, that's fairly quiet, 
Um, it does make it a lot easier and you're, you're a lot more successful um, with the, the hunting out here. So Marley and I headed back to camp here. I'm just taking a break. I got myself a Louisiana crunch cake and a Coke. And she's having some water and a snack. We're going to head back um, to that spot that had a lot of debris piles. It's a couple miles from here. And I'm hoping if we set up in a different spot, um, now that it's kind of later in the afternoon, um, we might have some more activity with the ground squirrels. But it's just beautiful out here. It's just, it's nice to come up, you know, park and be able to ride around and do some hunting. KBO did send me this large back rack here. This is probably the largest one that I've seen personally. Um, and it's really nice because I just mounted Marley's milk crate back here. Um, I got some pool noodles around here to um, keep the sharp edges away and, and she seems to ride in it really well. She likes it and then I just went and got um, Some ATV mounts um, that I just I bolted right onto the rack here and this holds the gun really securely um, And I like how it sticks out far enough. So it's not interfering with pedaling or anything like that um, so it is nice I really like the fact that I can carry all this stuff and I could probably mount the the gun back here as well but I kind of thought um, this might be a better way of mounting it It didn't take us long to get out here. We're a good couple miles from camp. And if we had to hike that, you know, it would, would take a while. And it was nice to just cruise over here on the bike and real nice ride with the fat tires. Um, Cause a lot of this area is sandy. And if you've got those skinny mountain bike tires, um, they dig in. And so I think uh, having the wide tires, you know, not only acts like suspension, but gives you a little better traction for any of the turns. It's about 5.30 right now. Marley and I made it back to camp. We're gonna start packing things up. We had a lot of fun today. As you can see, we've got a lot of really nice trails to be able to explore on this property. And we did have some success on the ground squirrels. The Umarex Origin worked really well. I really like it in 25 caliber over the 22. Um, it seems to get out a little easier, um, you know, especially when you've got wind. And so this is a gun that I can recommend to you guys looking for something affordable um, as far as, you know, getting into a PCP. And so I do like it, you know, it just works, and it's a, it's a fantastic gun. Um, the KBO Tornado worked really well for us. Um, you know, I like the design of this frame. It makes it really easy to get on and off, um, especially when we're loaded down. You know, I've got Marley in here. I've got to get off, put the kickstand down. 
um, it just makes it a little easier. And I like the oversized rock on the back, so I was able to get Marley's crate in here because it's important for me to be able to bring her on these trips. And I know you guys enjoy seeing her. Um, she has a lot of fun cruising around. Um, you know, she, she loves um, riding on these bikes. And having the gun rack on here worked well. Um, it did not interfere with pedaling. Um, and this bike has more than enough power with the 750 watt motor um, to get us up and down these hills. And you know, having the five levels of assist, um, you know, depending on your situation, the terrain, um, you know, you can ride this like you would a moped without pedaling at all, or you can help it along like we did today. And we got 10 miles in, and it's at half um, battery, and so. You can probably get about 20 miles out of this pretty easily um, if you're willing to kind of help it along. And I like the, the fat tires. Um, it gives you a little bit extra cushion. You get enough traction um, and it was really comfortable for us. And so I really appreciate KBO sending us this bike to be able to use. I will leave links to all the gear in the description if you guys are interested. And I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.